black note names. Here's our keyboard again with all the white note names displayed. Let me go to this C here. The black note next to that C, slightly higher in pitch than that C, so just on the right side of the C, we call it C sharp. And we write it like this. The sharp sign means that it's higher in pitch. So C sharp means higher in pitch, pitch than C. But of course not so high as D, since the black key is in between the C and the D. Of course, on this keyboard you can find more C sharps. Here they are. The next black note is slightly higher than the D, therefore we call it D sharp. And here are all the other D sharps on this keyboard. As you can see, there is no black key on the right side of the E. So I go on with this black note, just on the right side of the F. Therefore, we will call it F sharp. And here are all the other F sharps on this keyboard. The next black note is slightly higher than the G and is therefore called G sharp. Here are all the other G sharps on this keyboard. Okay, the last black note is situated just on the right side of the A and is therefore called A sharp. And here are all the other A sharps. So, it looks as if all the white and the black keys have names now. But this is not the whole story. Let's go back to our first black key, the C sharp. We call it C sharp, so with a sharp sign, since it's slightly higher than C. You can, however, also see it from the point of view of the D. It's not only a higher C, but also a lowered D. Now we call a lowered D a D flat, and we write it as follows. So the C sharp and the D flat are exactly the same note, only written differently. Okay, this is of course not the only D flat on this keyboard. Here are the other ones. In the same way, we can call our D sharp a lowered E. So, an E flat. And here are the other E flats on this keyboard. The F sharp is in the same way also called G flat. And here are all the, all the other G flats on this keyboard. The G sharp is also called A flat. And this are all the other A flats. And finally, the A sharp is also called B flat. And with all the other B flats on this keyboard, we've named all the black keys. Now, once more, black keys always have two names for the same key. Whether it's, whether it's this key, this one, this one, this one, or this one. We call two note names that design the same note an harmonic equivalent. So, for example, this C sharp and D flat are anharmonic equivalent because they are one and the same note. So, now we've named all the white and all the black keys on the keyboard. It's very, very important that you learn as quickly as possible all the note names. You will absolutely need them to follow this course. So, before going on, Practice them so that you know them all. To resume. To find the note names, you have the following rules. The C is just on the left of a group of two black keys. From the C, it's easy to find the other white keys. They are in alphabetical order and go from A to G. And to find the black keys, a sharp means higher, a flat means lower. Now, in the beginning you will need these tricks to remember all the note names. But later you will know the note names directly, without the need to apply those tricks.